Hello everyone, my name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be looking at the 2020 Cadillac CT5 and the Performance Luxury Package. Now before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe down below for more content, and let's jump right into it. So up front on the Cadillac CT5 you have these nice aggressive headlights with the LED running lights and down in the fog light area. As you can see with those little dots, you do have your front parking sensors up here, as well as a big grill that's black with the big Cadillac emblem in the middle. Under the hood in this vehicle, we have a inline four turbocharged four cylinder producing 238 horsepower and 257 torque. You have these nice aggressive silver wheels, 19 inches wrapped in Michelin tires. You have these easy touch door handles, so inside of there, all you gotta do is pull on them, door opens right up. You also do have the keyless entry, which you can use by placing your finger on the Cadillac badge. And when you lock it, you can see the mirrors fold in, and when you unlock it, they fold out, just like that. Here's where you fill up at capless fuel you do have back parking sensors this one is the all-wheel drive model you can get the rear wheel or the all-wheel drive and you have your 350t badge right here that shows how many newton meters of torque it has nice aggressive dual exhaust pipes as you can see up here, you have your backup light that illuminates when you're backing up. And you also do have a camera on the fin up here for your rear camera mirror, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Inside the trunk here, we have pretty good space for a mid-sized sedan. You can also fold its seats down if you want more storage capability. You have a couple tie downs on both sides. A little bit more storage under here. And your battery is in the back. Very aggressive rear tail lamps. They look very nice. Here's a look at the back seat. So you have wood trim on the doors with a beige interior. couple of exhaust fans right there. You do have a cigarette lighter port and a USB-C port back here. You also do have your very own sunroof, which is nice. Bose Performance Series audio all the way around the vehicle. And here's a look at the back seat space. I'm five foot 11. I have pretty decent headroom. But I only have a couple inches back here, so if you're a little bit taller, about six foot one, then your head's gonna be touching the roof. Leg space is pretty good. The driver's seat is where it's at, where I would be if I was driving. All right, and also here's a look at the front seat space. Like I said before, I'm five foot eleven. Um, pretty good leg room. Headroom is there. I got a few inches, so if you're about six foot four or so, uh, your head would be touching the roof. But there's still plenty of space inside of here. Really nice place to be at, accommodate small people like me, and I'm pretty sure big people can fit in here too. It's really spacious. Same wood grain trim doors and beige interior. Bose Performance Series audio. You also do have a button here to open up the trunk. All your window and mirror controls, you can make the mirrors fold in by pressing down this button. Memory seats. As you can see when you jump in, you get a very nice image on both of the LCD screens. 
of the Cadillac badge. So we'll go ahead and start her up. You just put your foot on the brake, hit the start engine bungeon, and she comes to life. Leather wrapped steering wheel. You do have the option of having it heated. This is your forward collision control right here. So if you press that, you can adjust how far you want that to go off. Cruise control. You do have your voice commands and your Bluetooth calling. You can control the center LED screen by using this wheel and pressing left and right. This is the seek through your music so you can go up or down and seek. You can turn your volume up or down by pressing these buttons. You also do have two magnesium paddle shifters on both sides. So on the screen up here, you can see all of your information, gas miles statistics, miles per hour, oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, all that good stuff. Then you can go over to your music, change what's playing. You have your navigation system, phone, and your settings. Here's your center console. You have a couple USBs inside of there with a cigarette lighter port. You also do have a holder right here for your phone. You can control the center screen by using this wheel right here. So as you turn it, you can slide through your apps or change pages. You can have uh, your quick buttons right here. You can go to your audio, navigation, go back, or use your phone. This is to turn your volume up or down, or seek through your music. Two cup holders in the middle with a wireless charging pad. You can adjust your drive mode so you can go down, go into sport, snow and ice, tour, or my mode, which is completely customizable. You do have auto stop start in this vehicle, so whenever you stop at a stoplight, it'll cut the motor off. You can turn that off by pressing this button. You also do have the auto hold, so whenever you're stopped, it'll hold the brake for you so you can let your foot off of it and relax, and your traction. This does have the electronic precision shift system. So all you do is hold this little button on the side. You can go up into reverse, go back down to drive, up a little bit for neutral, and down and down again for manual mode. To put it in park, you just simply press this button right here and it'll park the vehicle for you. Now you do have heated and cooled seats on the driver and passenger side. You have your 360 camera button right here that gives you all your different views. Lane keep assist, hazard, your front and back parking sensors, and the self parking system. All your climate controls are in one convenient place across this center line. Let's take a look at the touchscreen. So on the touchscreen up here, you have your main menu, which shows what music is playing and your navigation system. You can scroll over, go to your audio. It has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio. You have your phone, your navigation system. The navigation system in this vehicle is very easy to use. Nice system. You have your Wi-Fi hotspot, your different users, settings, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as different apps that you can install, OnStar, you can control your climate, you have a video recorder in this vehicle, and your different cameras. Let's jump right into that. So as you can see, you have a bunch of different angles on here. You have your 360 view camera, your backup camera, you also do have that front camera. You have a zoomed in view of the front and the back different parallel views. You can turn the line assist on or off, as well as turning off the 360 camera. You also do have the My Cadillac app, which you can lock, unlock, or start up your Cadillac from anywhere in the world. You have a volume adjuster up here. You can also scroll through the touchscreen by using this and your home button. Here's the glove box lined with felt is very nice pretty good space inside of there here's a look at the front seats 
nice leather trimmed with the perforated leather in the middle Cadillac V badge you also do have your sunroof up here which you can open up by pressing this button and it opens up just like that you also do have the option of tilting it all you have to do is press this button right here and it tilts for you you can also close the screen by using that button and that will close or open for you now up here you do have your OnStar buttons light buttons and your garage door openers you also do have the rear view mirror that you can cut on or on by flipping it up or down you also do have different settings so you can turn the brightness up zoom in or out move the camera up or down and that's it so what we'll do now is take her for a drive see how she feels so what we're about to do is get on the highway up here see how it handles and rides up there Yeah, as you can see right here, guys, this is a really nice place to sit at. You have a ton of screens around you. You got one up here, one right there, one right there. I mean, there's just so many features in this thing. It's really a good deal for 55 grand. You get a lot of car. And if you heard that, that was the auto stop. So whenever you stop at a stoplight, it'll cut the motor off to save gas. Then whenever you let your foot off, it'll start it back up again. Getting on the highway up here. Here comes some bumps. Handles very well over those. when you're just cruising. I did really great on the highway it was really smooth really precise on the steering you know you're not jerking the wheel left and right lane keep assist was keeping me in my lane really nice all right before we head out I'm gonna give you one last look around the vehicle I really think this is a big upgrade from the old CTS just performance wise luxury wise features wise everything about it is better in every way Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you think of it as well. Also, I'll show you guys the window sticker. So as you can see, it's the 2020 CT5 Premium Luxury. 
crystal white tri-coat, Sahara beige and jet black interior, 2.0 turbo with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Total price on this one comes out to $55,845, but they do start out at $40,695. Gas mileage on this vehicle, 25 combined. You also get 21 city and 31 highway. And here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at it. But that's it for now. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe down below for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.